All right, today I'm going to teach you how to solve this kind of quadratic equation questions. So the question tells you 3x squared plus 8x plus 7 actually have the root uh, alpha and beta. What's the meaning of root? Root basically is the answer of x here. So over here, you need to know this term over here, the first term we call it as a, this term as b, the last term here will be c. All right, so we have a formula for sum of root. Sum of root basically is negative b over a, and product of root is basically c over a. Okay, what's, what is the meaning of sum of root? So you have both of these is your root, right? Sum basically means you plus them, so that's mean alpha plus beta, you actually will get negative b over a. Your b is a, isn't it? So you get negative a over, your a will be 3. Right, product of root basically means your alpha and beta, you multiply each other. That means alpha multiplied beta will be C, which is 7, over A, which is 3. Right, and then the question asks you to form the quadratic equation with 3 alpha and 3 beta. So this is a bit tricky because right now you have the new root, which is 3 alpha and 3 beta. So what I will do over here is, I want to find out my new sum of root here. So new sum of root basically is 3 alpha, plus 3 beta. So you know I can actually factorize out the 3, isn't it? So if I factorize out the 3, I will get back alpha plus beta. So what is my alpha plus beta? I already got here, isn't it? Which is negative 8 over 3. So 3 multiply negative 8 over 3, which is negative 8. And then I will do the same thing for my new product of root. So the new product of root, basically, this is my new root, isn't it? So it will be 3 alpha multiply 3 beta. So 3 times 3, you get 9 alpha beta. And you already have your alpha beta, isn't it? Which is 7 over 3. So if you simplify, you will get 21. So after you get your new sum of root and new product of root already, what you need to do is, you kind of need to substitute both of this information into the general equation here. So what is the general equation here you have is, x squared minus sum of root x plus product of root equals to zero. Okay, so x squared minus, so what is your sum of root just now? When you get it, you actually, the sum of root just now, you are getting negative a, isn't it? And then your product of root, you get 21. So you just remember, so minus negative a, x plus 21 equals to zero. So I will just write nicely, both negative will give me positive ax plus 21 equals to 0. So this is the quadratic equation they asked for.